Which one do you think is going to correlate more specifically to you achieving the kind of life or the kind of goals that you want to achieve? Being used by fear or at the effect of fear or use it to your advantage? Two come to mind. The biggest one for me is being consistently on the gas pedal. So like right now I have a lot pending and my paperwork's crazy, but I don't quit doing floor time. I don't quit showing houses. I don't quit trying to find new clients because I need that pipeline to always be there. And as a newer agent, I don't have that if I don't continue to work. And so that's my big thing is no matter how crazy busy I think it is, I don't ever suck back and quit doing the stuff that generates new clients. And then the other thing for me is accountability too. And I don't know, some of you may have saw my Facebook post. I like to put my goals out there because then if they're out there, it just puts a little more pressure on me every day because everyone knows what they are. They aren't New Year's resolutions. They aren't hope or wish. I don't hope to do these things. I'm going to do these things. You and will. Yeah, and I put it out there, and so when you see my numbers every month and you're like, wow, Kylene closed one deal and $300,000, where's she at on that goal? That makes me move forward. <laughs> that's that accountability. Yeah, and I, and but you have to do it to yourself and put it out there. It's just like when I decided to become a realtor. My natural inclination was to tell no one until I was successful, which you're not going to be successful if no one knows you're a realtor. I just made myself tell every single person because... Um, I've got too much pride to be a failure at it once everyone knows about it. Look, she's using something that physiologically, psychologically we all have, right? One of the things that prevents people from picking up the phone and reaching out to uh, potential clients in your database is what? Rejection. Fear of failure, more specifically, fear of what the response is. Which one do you think is gonna correlate more specifically to you achieving the kind of life or the kind of goals that you wanna achieve? being used by fear or at the effect of fear or use it to your advantage. So look, it's a conditioning that you can do. One of the ways that she's conditioning herself to use fear rather than be used by fear is the accountability function and taking it a step further and publicly declaring it.